guys are missing is when I once I get here like this, I don't want to grab it this way a lot. If I grab it this way, it comes toward him, right? And he can grab his own ankle if he needs to. Right? You grab his own ankle, well, like you grab it like this way. You bring it towards you tighter. Now I'm trapped. So I've trapped myself. That's why this foot comes here like this. I'm here because I want to be able to push it away. You know, leggers, guys that are good at legs, they're going to try everything they can to bring everything in tight. I want to try to separate out. So I try to push this away. I don't want to have him get my wrist, or I don't want him to get his own, his own uh, ankles. All right? This is where we want to be. A lot of times you'll get guys that will throw legs in on the other side, so you've got to watch that side too. And again, i got two ways to get rid of it. Number one, if I'm crafty enough, I can use this foot. All right? If I can't do that, I'm not flexible enough, all I'm going to do is very quickly, I'm going to come off of this foot for a second and do this, and then come back to it, and then go. This, this is what we started with 10 minutes to go in practice. This usually, in my, my college guys, it takes me days of being able to actually teach this because what this guy does on top changes, and it's very fluid. And it's, I'm going to have to come back in to kind of finish off. But let's, let's just handle the double legs for a second and then throw doubles. <coughs> so he throws double legs on me. You're like, you're like, oh my God, I can't do anything. Well, you actually can. can. Alright, what we're going to do is we're going to handle one leg at a time. So my, my legs are going to go like this. I'm going to go this side, around, this side, around. Okay. That's what I'm doing. We're going to get them both in again. So I'm going to go one side and the other. One side, the other side. Try to keep them in. Okay. See what I'm doing, guys? Okay. One side. Oh. They don't stop till they're both out. You're just trying to get your knees together, and you know what? So what? If you got two legs in on you, you're in big trouble. Because even if he doesn't turn in, he's gonna ride you for a while, and it takes something out of you. So even if you get to the point where you've been able to get one leg out, good. Well, at least now you can fight one leg instead of fighting two. But um, here, just so you can see what's going on. PJ, can you ride legs or? You won't try. Both of them. Both. You got both legs in. Again, we're here like this. Nothing we can do, right? No. Turn my hip, right? Turn my hip. Again, rotating, knees together. Okay, go. Lift. He's coming up with it. He's doing a good job. He's actually doing a good job lifting with. You think he brought legs. Yeah. Well, he's coming up with that leg. But again, here, in, here, okay. just trying to get our knees together. But again, nothing else, again, nothing else. I'm coming off of one, right? So I'm going to keep it two, right? Like this. Oh, I get one in. Oh, now I got one. Guess what? Guess what? I got it. I got it. Okay, so. <coughs> Uh, I love getting out of legs. There's, I mean, uh, that's something that you know, a lot of them, if guys feel legs on me, man, I'm, okay, I'm getting a reversal or escape, one or two, or, or, or more. But it takes a lot of time to, to develop the, the system that I got. So let me, let me try to come back in another time and work on it with you guys. And, you know, definitely, uh, for now, let's take the last couple minutes here and work on these double legs. At least, if not, if you can't get it to where you're coming off the ball, at least get to where you come off the wall. Yeah, we're getting it. a lot of out, right? Out, and then. Work it. One, two, three. 